name's Justin Patterson Schmidt. Um, someone quoted an Einstein, uh, Einstein quote, and uh, I'll give you another one. Uh, repeating the same thing over and over is the definition of insanity. Um, every, every year and in every incident that happens, uh, these gun control bills come up over and over. Uh, throughout the country, uh, those that have enacted them don't do anything, proven over and over again. Um, if you really want to get down to the real problem, you have to look at the court system, those that are in prison. Um, not long ago, uh, the courts released, uh, I can't remember his name, but he's known as the Joy Killer, sitting in Providence right now, uh, served less than half of his time. So if legislation believes that people that, uh, you know, you're, you're a danger to society, that you need your firearms taken away or some other right, why are they not being kept in prison? Why are those that are deemed by a court uh, dangerous to public not kept in prison? So you have a, a prison problem and you have a gang problem. Those are the things that you need to deal with, either by getting people out of poverty, getting people uh, jobs, getting kids educated so they don't commit crimes, not removing rights of people. I'd like to, uh, you know, the, nobody's really talked much about the Constitution. Uh, the Constitution does actually protect the right to keep and bear arms. Uh, the bear is a word used in the 1700s to uh, talk about carrying. Our founding fathers, every single one of them, carried their firearms, pistols, and rifles with them everywhere they went. So the Constitution does protect the right to keep and bear arms, period. It is to be protected and defended with life. Uh, and interpreted in the language in which the time it was written. So you need to interpret the language of the Second Amendment in the, in the period that it was written. I've been around firearms since I was five. I learned to shoot when I was five, and I've been carrying concealed and open since I was 21. Uh, I've lived in both Indiana, Ohio, Connecticut, and now Rhode Island. And it hasn't been a time I haven't carried without incident since I was 21. That includes in schools. Uh, I go to meetings, uh, PTAs, haven't had an incident. So why would you restrict a right uh, to help protect? It is not up to government to protect people by violating other people's rights. It is up to the government to protect rights, constitutionally protected rights. So trying to remove, uh, you know, high capacity, so-called high capacity magazines is not protecting anything, it has shown that. Uh, keeping uh, minors, in, you know, from possessing firearms, like I said, I have been around them since I was five, and that gave me a great respect for life and a great responsibility. And that is what we're missing, is responsibility and respect. Um, the Second Amendment ensures that has absolutely nothing to do with hunting, has absolutely nothing to do with even protecting yourself against criminals. Its primary purpose from the founders is to protect against tyranny from the government, period. That means that you should be armed the same as government. That means the same weapons that they use in, in any sense of the matter. That is what the Second Amendment. I, I'm tired of hearing, oh, hunting, hunting, hunting. It has nothing to do with hunting. You can't legislate morality. Uh, heard Representative Almeida talk about our moral imperative. You can't legislate it. We found that out with prohibition. That didn't turn out very well. Every law that tries to legislate morality ends up hurting law-abiding citizens and causes more problems, as you had with 
the mob during Prohibition. Jefferson, I'll quote a, a, a or a, um, not quote, but I'll paraphrase a quote Jefferson gave. Blood of tyrants and patriots must from time to time replenish the tree of liberty. Our founders understood that from time to time, government will become a tyrannical institution and must be defeated by the people so that a government for the people can flourish. I'll end in saying I'm willing to die to protect and defend the Constitution. I made that determination the day I turned 18, and I decided to stay in the United States of America. And I hope anybody listening, federal, state, local, that are, if you are willing to destroy the Constitution, are you willing to die to destroy it?